The lady from California, Ms. Sanchez. Thank you. I feel like the last person who gets to go at a roast and all the best lines are already taken. <laughs> um, I appreciate your patience and hanging in here. And I've listened to all of the testimony and the questions um, with uh, uh, a lot of care. So hopefully I won't be repeating some of the points that some of my colleagues made. Um, I want to start with Mr. Marshall. Mr. Marshall, I understand your family owned business, second generation, Correct. and that you have seven physical stores. Um, didn't start out that way, did it? Uh, no. Uh, it, it's just in the last uh, 15 or 20 years that uh, we expanded from a single location to, to seven. When you opened that single location, um, did the government help you with any of the costs of collecting sales tax on the items you sold in that brick and mortar store? Did well, they it, subsidize any of that for it, you? It predates my time, but to my knowledge, no. Uh, the, 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 the system that exists within the state of Michigan for collection of sales tax uh, you know, seems reasonable, and, and there are, there's, there are uh, considerations shown for the burden that we incur collecting it. Uh, the government did assist in the creation of Marshall Music because uh, uh, my father was a pilot in World War II and uh, my mother worked uh, uh, for the government during World War II and it was savings that they uh, uh, accumulated during that time uh, that made the down payment on their first music store. Okay. I'm somewhat facetiously highlighting that point because there seems to be a lot of consternation about the cost of implementing, you know, compliance uh, with collecting um, uh, sales tax revenue through online purchases. Now, you've admitted that you also sell products online, is that correct? Correct. Um, and what percentage, just roughly, can you give me a ballpark, of, um, of your business is done through online sales versus the brick and mortars that you own? Less than one, one and a half percent online. Okay, so if you were, if we were viewing you strictly through the lens of your online sales and what you take in on a yearly basis through those online sales, under some of the definitions that people have proposed for the small business exemption, you might look like you actually were a small business that qualified for that exemption, would you not? If we were strictly looking through the prism of what a small business does in, in online sales. Indeed, and I uh, uh, apparently would not have to collect sales tax and would have a competitive advantage over those that do. Uh, you know, it, would, it, would, you know, it would still be picking winners and losers. 